Hey, what's up guys? Today I have some new saddlebags on the Harley Davidson Lowrider and I'm going to show you how I installed them. Kind of nice they put them in this cloth bag here to keep them protected. So the bags I chose for this install are from Viking Bags and I'll put a link in the description to these. So I chose this model because of the looks. It has more of a modern look as opposed to some of the other bags that they offer. So I did have to do a little prep work ahead of time and have my turn signals relocated. Um, they used to come out right over here, so I had to have them extended back so it would leave a little bit of extra room here for the bags. Now these bags come with all the mounting hardware necessary, but there are no pre-drilled holes on the back. You kind of have to line this up and drill your own holes. But just looking at them like this, I think these are going to work out very nicely. Looking at the back here, I know I'm going to have to put a couple small spacers so that it, it clears the relocation bracket. Basically the bag installs to these two mounting screws here. And once they're installed, they, they are not quick detach. You'd have to remove the whole thing um, and the mounting hardware to get them off of there. The kit that I purchased does come with a turn signal relocation kit. Um, I'm not going to be needing this today because I had um, the Harley one installed, but this is what comes in the kit. So the bracket that comes with the kit, I believe mounts somewhere by your license plate frame and then you would run the wires through and mount your turner signals to the end of the bracket here. Here is a look at the mounting hardware that comes with the kit. So you have a couple different length bolts here and then some spacers. And here are the brackets that are used to mount the bags to the bike. And um, those be mounted to those two screws right there and be lined up onto the back of the bag. The instructions recommend holding the bag up near the mounting points here and then trying to draw with a marker where these brackets are going to be installed at. So these bolts are T45. Okay, I should be able to mark these now. Okay, I'm also putting this tape down so that I can draw onto this, so that if I make any wrong marks, I don't have to try to get it off the back of the bag. That looks like a good position to me. I think I'm ready to drill the holes.
Okay, now that the holes are drilled out, I'm going to do a test fit. I use these smaller bolts for the bottom of the bracket here, putting the washer on the inside of the bag. I haven't tightened the bolts all the way. I just put them on loosely so I could see what the overall clearance situation looked like. I have room between the, the bag and the turn signal. Um, I wanted it to be as close as possible just so that I'd have more room up in front by the seat area here. My main concern was that I had enough clearance between the exhaust and the bottom of the bag. They recommend at least one inch. I also sat on the bike just to make sure I had enough room and I wasn't bumping up against it and it's perfectly fine where it is right now. So I don't have to do any adjustments. I'm just going to start prepping the other side and then I'll bolt everything down and clean it all up. So what I did was lined up the two bags back to back to see where the screw holes would line up and then I marked that on my tape. After I marked the top hole, I put this bracket on here to see where the bottom hole would line up. For the brackets here, these bottom bolts are 12 millimeter. And I did put Loctite on the bottom bolts and on the top bolts. So I put the washers on the insides for the bolts here. So to mount this, I'm just lining up the bolts with the existing holes on the fender. Be careful though, because the backing plate on the other side of this will fall out if you don't put a hand behind it while you feed these through. If I didn't mention it, this socket is a 15 millimeter. I'm really pleased with the install. Overall, it took me probably about two hours, but that was with recording everything. So it's dark outside now, so I can't really get any good pictures of this outside. So I'm going to wait until the morning and take this for a ride, get some pictures and see what my first impressions are. So one of the biggest benefits of having saddlebags is that I can actually haul stuff now. So typically when I have to return a package to Amazon, I have to throw it in my car and drive it over here. But now I can take my bike. Uh, maybe. That'll work. So the install went pretty good. Um, the only thing I did after the install video was I changed out these shorter spacers for the longer ones. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, my concern was that I didn't want the swing arm to hit the bottom of the bags. Um, there's only about an inch of clearance in between there. So just to be on the safe side, I wanted to bring the bag out past the furthest edge of the swing arm just so there were no problems.
So if you're a regular to the channel or if you've seen any of my other videos featuring this bike, you might have seen the Harley-Davidson quick detach luggage rack that I used to have installed on here. Now the luggage rack was a fine solution, but the weight capacity wasn't that great. And the bag that I had attached to it um, was kind of a pain to have to, to attach and detach every time I went into a building. So I started looking into other solutions like saddlebags. As I mentioned earlier in the video, these are the Viking bags Lamellar, I believe they pronounce them. And these are the large, not the extra large. I wanted something that fit the bike but didn't overwhelm it. I, I didn't need that much storage, I just needed a little bit of extra something. So it's kind of cool. Um, you know, this one I had emptied out. I haven't thrown the silica gel out yet, but um, I had this emptied out so I could put my Amazon package in there and that was a success. So this one I kind of have my accessories in here. So what's nice now is that I have a bag, I can have my cold weather riding gloves for like in the mornings on the way to work and then my mesh gloves for on the way home when it's warmer. Baseball hat when, uh, when I have helmet hair. This is also for the morning, um, like a full face mask. This is really cool for keeping my neck warm. So the other nice thing about this bag is that it's got a little mesh pocket in here. So, you know, I've got some tie straps and some other stuff in here. Um, my insurance card holder, various cables and, uh, you know, a little screen wipe. So yeah, you know, I was really happy with the installation. It, it wasn't too bad. Um, the biggest problem I had was trying to figure out if these short bolts that came with it were going to be long enough. Um, I just want to make sure that the th I had enough threads going in to the back here um, to hold this in place. And so far, so I've, I've been riding around with these for a couple days now, and I've checked multiple times to make sure they're not loosening up or anything, and they seem really secure. I may go and just go to the hardware store and get some bolts that are halfway between these and the long bolts. Um, the long bolts went too far into the fender, they would have hit the tire. You know, if I hit a good bump, I would have been rubbing on the screws. So I did not mention earlier in the video, um, in case you haven't seen my channel before, I am not a certified mechanic, so do these upgrades at your own risk. Um, I was willing to take the risk on here just because I figured it was something I could do without having to take the bike in to have it done. Um, now the turn signal relocation I did have done at Harley Davidson because partially because of, of, of the time constraints, you know, I wanted to get this video out and I probably would have had to push out another week if I would have had to do that myself. So I was just really excited about getting the bags on here and starting to use them. So my overall first impressions, um, they look super sick on this bike. I really think it gives it a good look. It still has that modern look, but with a little bit of an edge to it, and of course the functionality of, of having some bags on here for, so, for storage. Now the install, um, really easy. It would have been a lot easier if I would have had a second pair of hands helping me out. So if you can manage it, get somebody to help you, at least hold the bags up there while you tighten them down in there. Another pro is the fact that they lock and they're so easy to open. And to close them, just push it down. You don't need the key to lock it. Now for a couple of the things I've noticed, I don't know if they're really cons, but just something to be aware of. Um, these bags are hard bags, but there is a little bit of a flex to them. So just something to be aware of. The other thing to be aware of is the back side of the bag doesn't really have any clear markings to show you where level is. So. That's kind of why I used that bubble level trick on the front of the bag. They could have some kind of faint markings on the back of their, some kind of grid or something, um, just so that you can tell what level is. So just a little bit of suggestion, Viking bags, if you're listening. And with that being said, I do not have any kind of affiliation with Viking bags. I am just a customer, um, just an extremely excited customer, and could not wait to get these bags installed and I am not disappointed. 
I will have all links in the description for the Viking bags and for the Harley Davidson turn signal relocation kit. If you like the video, click the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next one.